Yes, people, what's happening? Nice one for coming back to the Fuse UK. It's much appreciated as always. We're just waiting for Kyle Cassidy to join now. If you don't know who Kyle Cassidy is, uh, can't stress to you any more than going to watch his fight that he had with Jimmy Miller at BKFC 37 in Crystal Palace. Probably, in my opinion, it was fight of the night. So definitely head over there and watch that fight if you haven't watched it yet. But here he is. How are you doing, Kyle? You all right, brother? Darling, mate. How's things? All good, my mate. How are you feeling, bro? I feel good, mate. I feel good. Still, still healing. Um, still healing up, like, but I'm all good. Good man, good man. What a fucking fight, mate. Fucking banger, <laughs> wasn't it? Oh, mate. One the, one the best, mate. One the best. It was class. I did say that. I was going to go in there and fucking throw down, so... It happened. But it was good, like... It was a good one, just what I needed. Yeah, how did you feel? How did you feel? Obviously, because Ben was not new to you. You've fought on the BFBA and that. How did it feel, mate, being a part of such a massive platform and the production and everything? I felt good, mate. It was it was well run as well. It was good. Um, Andrew knows what he's doing with this stuff, um, especially with the BFBA as well. Um, so it was good. Like so it was a lot better than the last shows as well. I yeah. Enjoyed it. You as well, like, when i seen you, like, obviously down there, you don't look fucking nervous at all. And I look at comments that people put about you in on YouTube and they're all like, this lad's as game as they come. Like, people, there must be people from up your way or something like that. Aye. I've had a lot of fights, mate. I've had like 16 fights or something. I got a bit nervous to start with. I got to arena and that. I started getting nervous. Um, but the hard part was done. The hard 10-week camp was done. I made my weight. Um, that was done, so it was just really fighting, but that's the fun bit, yeah. So, but that's the bare knuckle suits me, uh, to all my other fights I've had. So, I, I was just ready to go to and have some fun. That's what it was, eh? yeah. And obviously, the fight got ended not not down to yourself, obviously, you, yeah. you'd have carried on, but it was just your eye had closed, hadn't it? So, my left eye was shut completely, um, uh, and then my right eye it was bloody. So. I can nearly see properly today. That's why when you see me stand up in the third, third at the start of the third round, uh, I'm like looking about to see where I can keep my head. So I can now. see where Jimmy is. So where my opponent was, was going to be. Um, but the doctor says, if you can't see, you can't fight. And I was like, well, it's up to you guys. I mean, you're here to look yes. after us. There's no point. You can't be bitching and all the rest of it and fucking kicking off. Wrong yes. decision, wrong decision. It's their choice. You know I mean, what they say goes. They say it at the rules meeting as well. It's up to them. Yeah, so, medical course. team and obviously my coach as well. He was saying like, "You can't fight, you can't see, you can't fight." What do you want to do? I was like, "Well, I want to still fight, like, but um, they yeah, called it off because fucking." What, what, what's off, running through your head with all that? Obviously, what's running through your head when you're in a, this bare little fight? It's like such a big event for you, and you fucking can't see, miss. Mate, I'm not bothered. That's no, just fucking. I'll deal with it after. I didn't know. I seen Jimmy's face, and I was uh my face is going to be a wee bit fucking like his as well. But Jimmy's looked a bit, looked a bit lost with the swelling. Um, but I'll just deal with that after the fight. Let's get the fight out the road. Then that was it. And then when I got out the ring, I couldn't see where I was walking. I couldn't see anywhere. So I was like, we stepped to get out the ring. I was like, mate, I can't even fucking see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was yeah. like, I can't see. Somebody's on my arm. Like I don't know where I'm going. Um, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy's eye was shut as well like after the fight like so I've seen him in the car park at Wembley and his eye was fucking out here as well was that able? after the fight I went down I had to go to the medical and then Jimmy was there um, he was getting stitched up in that shook his hand made sure it was alright seen his boy as well shook his wee boy's hand um, make sure he was like because it's not nice it's like young, you know, don't want to seen fucking a da and in, in battle pretty much yeah yeah, just fucking just looking as bad as me, so I'm not saying see if he was all right as well. Um, so what his face was bad, my face was bad, and uh, we'd done what I meant to do. And but for family members watching a boxing fight, bad enough, mate, and fucking watching that fight that the much to watch you to win, mate, it was fucking brilliant. <laughs> and, the sad, yeah? and like it was only the first fight, and I was sat like near the ring, and I was thinking. What the fuck is going on? Here? All I could do was all I could do here from the ring, and I was like, <laughs> "Not even <laughs> <of them laughs> back." 
That's it, mate. You, this is what you're meant to do. You're not meant to dance about the ring and run about the place. You're meant to stand, stand and bang. Yeah. Uh, and that's what we've done. We've done it. Got the crowd going, so it was good. Yeah, definitely, mate. And obviously, was the, did the fight go, you were expecting, did the fight go the way you were expecting it to go? I, I should have. I should have had my hands up, like, I went in there wanting to fucking want to throw down. That's what I wanted. I wanted to stand and bang and see where I am. Um, I should have just kept my, kept my hands up and my head movement. Was, like, I worked everything through camping. That was perfect. My guard was always good. and my, my footwork was perfect. And it came to the night time. I was like, fuck this. Hands are going down. And let's just fucking throw it. It was like the <laughs> wee games, the wee fucking fighter guys. That's what me and Jimmy were like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Class. And what what's obviously you're just gonna stay with the BKFC now, I'm presuming, after that big fight and just keep on smashing I, the fight. I watched it, mate. It was that was a that was a big camp, like what was it? I started my camp ten weeks before at 104 kilos. And yeah. I weighed in it, I think it was eighty two kilos or something I weighed in it. Um Last year was just fucking crazy, like being injured after hand surgery and stuff as well. That's another thing. I had major hand surgery as well after my, my last fight on the BFBA. Um, and then just drinking and eating shit, being a fat bastard. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't it wasn't a hard camp, like the best camp I've had. Um, and I made the weight easy enough, so it was good, like that way. So I'm just going to be staying with the BKFC. Um, spoke to Andrew after it. Um, and he was like, just wanted to make sure my face was all right. Um, and they've seen like the Americans loved it. They want you back. So I was like, well, that's perfect. Um, so I went to the hospital on the Sunday. Uh, I had to get x-rays. There's not a break in my face or a fracture either, which I was surprised at because my face was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> was like, Fuck. So the, the doctor checked it over twice and there was nothing. Um, just really bad swelling. Yeah, and like obviously lads now who like your future opponents obviously gonna know they've got a fucking fight on their hands now when the oh, fight they're never, never gonna have an easy fight with that's so if I had my first fight as well, I was out of the game for so long, it was like eight years at the game. And I fought Ash Gibson and that was the first round, and then I had fought Tom, that was the first round as well. And then we fought Jimmy. As it's getting on, I'm training harder as well, so um you're fighting at the top league. So you're not gonna get an easy fight regardless who you're fighting, I don't think. But with me, you're not going to get an easier one either. And yeah, I'll, so hit you, I'll hit you whatever, and that's it. Doesn't matter because I thought I thought my hands were going to break again when I just the one I had surgery. In. So, so my, your hands were alright. Aye, my hands were alright. Nothing, there's nothing bad there. So it was, it was alright. My left one was a wee bit tender, but there's nothing. Hands only broken. There's no fractures in my hands either. So I came out. I came out a bit wounded, but swelled up. Probably cost most of the shots that landed from you both were all clean shots. Probably Aye, well. they were, they were clean shots. Like it was fucking good. So uh, I was decent legs, but I was pretty. Uh, I'm pretty glad that I've came out without any breakage. Even my nose, my nose, even my face. It looked like it looked like I've uh, broken my eye socket and that, but nah, they, they checked it twice and I was good to go. So I messaged Andrew saying all the scans are fine. Perfect. Yeah. Clutch to mate, and obviously, did you see the BKFC when they put the prelims on and it's got your photo? The see the high. Fucking looks brutal, that photo, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> this is why you don't do this good enough with feet, innit? Look at this, <laughs> yeah, that's the perfect photo, mate. It's a good one, like. Jeez, but yeah, obviously, um, you must have been absolutely buzzing, mate, like with the whole outcome of it. Like, even though it got stopped, and you know, but just the. Uh, the feedback and everything that you've got off the I fight was real good. See, even though he's won it and that, like he said, it went onto the medical team stopping it. I'm not really took it as a loss, like if I was knocked out or anything like that. So it's quite mean, good. Yeah. Like, some fighters can go into like, a kind of bad state and that, like mental side of it. But I was like, uh, I've not been knocked out of that. The doctor stopped it due to this. So it's a bit better that way. Um, which made me push even forward for my next camp. Um, when I go, I was meant to start camp on Monday, but the message was like that, just having a week off pretty much. Um, before you go back in again, yeah, of course, you made you think, um, Jimmy underestimated you, Kyle. 
Um, I don't know. I think so. I think so. I once one of the weekends and that he was all he looked a lot taller than me. Um, and I knew he was smaller than me, even when I seen him at this, this first weekend. He's wearing the big platforms. Um, and then at the official the official face face offs, um, he looked a bit bigger. But until you're in there, until you get hit with it, and then maybe it all changes there. But he knew he was going. He knew he would have had a tough fight on his hands as well. And he was in fucking fantastic shape as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he's about he's fought all his life, hasn't he, mate? He's been, like, went on top MMA shows and that, like, he's fought everybody I've heard in the MMA circle as well. I was, um, he was in good shape, weeks as well. Me, I just make the weight and that's it. I'll fucking put it all back on. So, so are you gonna are you gonna stay the same way, or are you gonna go away above us <laughs> to not kill yourself as much in camp? I wasn't, mate. I never killed myself. I, I could have. Uh... I only done an hour, was it an hour and a half, I think, in the sauna. I cut about three and a bit kilos in the sauna, and then I did a 20 minute salt bath. And then that was me. Just did a 24 hour fast. Fucking hell, mate. I wasn't even, and that's, I wasn't even, uh, I wasn't drained or dying, which was good. Um, did you, did you weigh yourself to see what you rehydrated to? No, I never. But I think it would have been about 90 odd kilos, probably 92, 91 kilos. I just go straight back with him, yeah. Yeah, because you look, you look quite big in there, to be honest, mate. Like, you look big for the weight. See, I'm getting smaller, though. It's through my first fights, you know, like, because I was just lifting weights before. You know, just not, not done any weights. Yeah. Um, so I felt a bit smaller. Um, but I'm usually always a smaller guy fighting people. <coughs> so, but I think I'm going to go down to 80 kilos. Um... I reckon I could make 80 kilos, maybe a bit later I could make it. Um, uh, just to be enough time. Because I've had yeah. that year, but, um, eating shit, so I'm just going to go back into camp. And then if I go back on the diet I was doing, I'll come back off. And maybe not go as much uh, like for eating in restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when, when um obviously you're coming back to the BKFC when when you have you got an idea in your head of what date and show you roughly? I want to new, I want to be in the Newcastle card. June. June. Yeah, that would be on that card there. Yeah. I think I said that to Andrew as well, like so the what and uh the what and to be on that in the June card. It'd be good and to it's take closer, it's it's closer to home as well. So I can take a I can bring a squad down as well. A lot closer than London, innit? Fuck I man. I was on it, I was driving, mate, so I was in the back, back of the car sleeping. Um uh, and my coach my two coaches, they just shared the ride for driving. How um, long did it take? About nine hours. I got picked up at one o'clock in the morning. Uh three in the morning, I think I got down there for about twenty past nine, roughly. I think. Fuck it, man. One stop. Well, one I think it's well worth me that in there through the night. It's better. It's better that way. Um, especially if you're cutting weight. Because I, start, I started obviously cutting my weight uh, in the sauna about three, about two o'clock. I think yeah. it was there. So, so that was, um, that was a little bit easier rather than just cutting up here. Try to go to sleep up here and then do the trip. So did, you, did you watch the full card back? Was it sorry? Did you watch the full fight card back? Um, I, bits and pieces, mate. Eh? Bits and pieces. I watch it. Eh? Did that, any other fights stand out here, or did you not watch them all fully through? Uh, you what? I watched them, eh, but fucking, I don't even know what I done last week, mate. See, after that fight, my behavior up my asshole. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, honestly, mate, I'm a bit fucking punch drunk. Um, <laughs> But I've seen some of the fights, like, I watched some of them. The one I want to watch is that Gary. I watched, the ones I actually watched live. Uh, yeah. I never watched again, eh? <coughs> hopefully, hopefully one day they can get a show up your ends, mate, in Scotland. That'd be good for you, uh, wouldn't it? They are wanting, I was talking to Andrew and that, they will want to come to Scotland, eh? Um, which will be fucking mental. Is there many Scottish lads doing it at the moment? Obviously, I know um, a couple of them that are doing it that have been doing it a while, but there's there's only you, really, who's, like, fresh on it, isn't it? Uh, I mean, there's only me. 
my coach, my coach was like to say, like, Kyle's does bare knuckle boxing, we don't promote it. Kyle's on his own wee path. We'll leave him to it. Um, it's still a grey area, I feel like, yeah. Still gets, still think it's like travel community. Yeah, yeah. I think it's dodgy and it's illegal until they actually see what's happening. And it's well run, well organised. You're well looked after. Medical, te- uh, medical teams there. Um, doctors, you know, a lot. It's all, it's all good. Yeah, of course you mate. And um, obviously, what can we expect to see from Kyle in the future? Same as always. <laughs> Same as last one. Do a war. <laughs> a good fucking war, mate. A good war and hopefully no knockouts. Yeah, quality, That's man. That's what I'll be going for, eh? So it'll be good, like, as. Is this uh, the Source Network? Is, some, is he relation to you? No. Nah. Sure, we commented before saying he was some relation. Unless, unless I know him. Just a different, in a different name, innit? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, mate, you've got a lot of people talking on the channel, like um, on my other videos and that, saying that uh, all about your fight. It was nah, I, they loved it. That's Even after my fight, the message I was getting from people as well it was crazy, yeah. Um, saying like being no fan and all that stuff, but you, it was a it was a good war. Like I wanted a bloodbath, I wanted them in a hud. I wanted to be put mass, even though I'm not sure if it was a. If it, I don't even know what that was. Eh? I watched it back. Um, what was that the the first the first knockdown? What happened I, straight away? I, 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 I couldn't see a shot that landed like. But when you go on one knee, I thought, oh, he must he must have been caught with a shot. I, I don't know what it was like. So I never felt it. But I don't know. We both came in, but. I got put mass. <laughs> I wanted that. I wanted a bloodbath. I got that. And uh, I had a good fucking war. And I done everything I said I was going to do in the gym as well. Eh? I said, these are the things that I want. Um, and I think I needed a good a good fight. A good a good tear up. It'll be a good rematch down the line, man. Jimmy asked me for a rematch. He said we'd run that back. Oh, he wants me. He asked me, I which I didn't know. Really see the point of why he would say that, yeah. Um, maybe in the future there would be a rematch, but it doesn't interest me, yeah. yeah just, I just move forward, that do interest you? Um, I don't really know, mate. I just, I just, however, I sound that way, cool. That's fine with me. I'm and anyone who gets offered to you, there's quite a few people who got offered the last time. At the weight uh, for that show there, yeah, and then it all changed. Um, but as I come down later, it's going to be harder as well because, yeah. um, I was, was it 83 83 kilos? That one was it, um, and I went with 80 kilos, yeah. Now, what were you before the Crystal Palace show? 103, 104. Hundred and fucking hell, man! <laughs> <laughs> Big fat bastard. That was all. That's what it was, mate. <laughs> and that was just before Christmas as well, eh? So I, I never went a bit. I never picked it that much at Christmas as I usually have. But it wasn't. It wasn't even that bad. Bad, I can't believe. So. But then, um, with the next shows, obviously. Because you know you brought the sale with a big KFC because it's all nerves of being on a new show and all that as well, yeah. and it? it's all different to all the fighters. They've all said the same thing. But obviously, now you brought the ice. It's just another day in the office, isn't it? That's it. That was it. It's not as if I'm meeting new people because I've worked with Andrew and Wiggins um, as well. So it's not as if I'm. It's new people that I don't know. And the yeah. guys that are on the card, I've met them through through um, through different fight shows. Um, so it's not as if I know, don't know anybody so it was actually alright but once you have so many fights mate it's after that it's just it's just another day in the office yeah definitely and sit and tell mate like what, what I, like I say when I seen you at the event you just looked so fucking relaxed mate like uh, obviously I've taught, taught a while the fighters and you can, tell, you can tell with some fighters they're nervous or by the body language or the way they're talking but you would just seem fucking on cloud now, mate. Happy to be there and not right. coming out again. <laughs> that, 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 it was a fun part. That's you, the hardest part is training. That's the hardest part is the training part. The fucking the good parts get in there and just fighting. That's a, that's the fun part. That's the de stressor there. 
Yeah, definitely, mate. And obviously, we're all fucking looking forward to you getting back in, mate. But right. obviously, before we wrap it up, mate, is there anything else you want to share with us or any sponsors or big ups you want to shout uh, out? Let's just say sponsors uh, following me from other fights. Uh, a gym at Fighters Hive and Hustle Gym. We've got NG Electrical, Douglas Developments, uh, Forever Warm Windows and Doors, and Global Production Events. Um, thanks to you guys as well. Um, hopefully, I get another, another few more sponsors um, on track as well that can help me um, financially through the other camps. It does it costly. Anyone who's watching this video, mate, who wants to sponsor you, where can they reach out to you, bro? Um, Kyle Casty on my Facebook and Instagram. Um, if they just want to send me a message, get part of the team. Yeah, I'll put all that in the description, <laughs> the links, and then um, obviously we'll stay in touch, mate, like we always do. And Absolutely. whenever you news or whenever you want to jump on, mate, we'll just Actually, do it again. That, that's perfect, mate. Cheers for that. Spot on, Kyle. Trees for your time, brother. Thanks, mate. Take care, man. Ta da, mate. Bye bye. Right, cheers. Nice one, everyone. What a fucking warrior. Can't wait to see Kyle out next. He brings it every time. And if you haven't seen his other fights as well, have a look on uh, YouTube. Just put Kyle Cassidy on. And um, his fights on the free prelims on BKFC as well for the people who don't want to download the app. Just go over there and check it out. One of the best fights in Bern that you'll ever see. Just fucking tooth and nail war. Was an outstanding fight. Jimmy turned out, turned out to be a good lad. Well, thanks for that. I think uh, Kyle knew Jimmy was going to be a good lad. Obviously, he's well known in the fight scene, do you know what I mean? I don't think uh, Kyle's went in there thinking he's going to uh, like dominate Jimmy. I think he's known he's against a good fucking fighter. It's just the fact that he's not asked to be fighting. He'll just get in there and have a war. I think that's the case. But like I say, fucking that fight, full fight, was 50-50. It was going in Jimmy's way in the beginning, and then um, Kyle comes back, starts dominating Jimmy, and it's just back and forth. But obviously, it got stopped due to the eye, like, and you could literally see, you couldn't see out of his eye because it's fucking out here. You have to watch the fight, and you'll see. You just will not um, be disappointed. But I'm going to put Kyle's Instagram link in the description, so make sure we just head over there and give him a follow straight away. The Source Network, uh, Lions, he mits up TV, DC Backup, In the Red Corner Podcast, Big Up Ross, all supporting Kyle Cassidy there. But um appreciate everyone jumping in. I'm coming back on soon with a special guest, so make sure you tune in. Thanks, Kyle. It means so much to us. Well in, boys. See you soon, people. Good evening. Good night, sorry. <laughs>